Oh, garbage come loose. How are you today? I'm okay. You don't sound terribly sure. <laughs> Have we done your reflection from last week? I forgot what lesson we were <laughs> We're doing kind of a, a mishmash of a bit of everything really, won't we? It was 12, on it? Uh, 13. Yeah, it has a perception uh, and such. That's okay. <laughs> it's, um, whether you've written it down or whether we chat about it, it doesn't really matter. As long as you've, you kind of review what's going on and then think about well, what have we learned from that and in light of what we learned, what might we do sort of next time. The, um, so how, did, how did you think it went last time? Not bad at all, was it? No, it was good. The, um, I mean, I was that, obviously I, I, I replayed as well, I get the chance to watch the video as well, which is uh, which is helpful. I got the chance to watch a bit more of it last week than I normally do, because I normally just do the edits at the beginning yeah, and get it uploaded and mm. don't always get the chance to watch it. There's a lot of great stuff happening. The, um, I'm not. I'm not sure if you're aware how good you really are. You know, at parallel parking. I love parallel parking. <laughs> the gap that you put it in last week was really small. Very impressive. So when I, mean, I got my mind to thinking about, it. I mean, is there anything in particular you you want to work on today? Uh, I don't know. I feel confident in it. We've gone through loads. We have. So I mean, what I looked at, if you wouldn't mind me making a suggestion, yeah. is I looked at everything we've done. And I thought you're doing everything to a really good level now. How would you feel about seeing if you can just add that bit of extra polish to it that maybe an advanced driver would, like, would do? Mirrors all the time. Well, that that's part of it, but it's 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 all about where our eyes are for a lot of the time with with, with advanced driving. Because as human beings, what we tend to do is we match where we're looking to the speed that we're travelling. So if you ever think about it, when you're walking about, you don't look that far ahead, do you? No. You just make sure you're not going to bump into somebody here. If you start running, you start looking further up. When you get on a bike, you look a bit further. In a car, even further. But even then, in a car, we tend to match our view. I'm doing a load of this on Monday. Uh, we match our view to the situation we're in. For example, here, if we're just trundling along slowly, you're probably just watching these cars and watching for kids. If you're travelling a bit faster, your eyes would go up at the end of the road. Mm. If you're travelling twice that speed, you'd probably look twice that distance. So by, by switching our, what we call our focal point, where our eyes are, constantly and getting them as far up the road as we can say for example you know when you turn into a new road get right up the road and then look back and then right up the road and then look back what it does is it helps you spot things tons earlier um oh, i'll give you for example you know last week when we were coming up that situation that guy came through the, the gap and we, we both ended up having to slow yeah. down a bit if you spot that really early you just notch the gas off he's out the way and then through we go so it puts a real a real slickness to the drive. Um, it also makes it look completely unhurried. Like, and it makes it feel like you're actually traveling slower because there's no, there's no braking, there's no hard acceleration. Mm. So it's all that sort of stuff, just sort of, if you like, putting polish on it, just getting it like really super slick. Mm. Making sure that no matter what anybody out here does, and we've already seen that they do some stuff, <laughs> they're not gonna affect us. Does that, does that seem like a, a reasonable plan? So we'll just, if I just keep asking you all the time, where are your eyes now? Uh, or maybe seeing if, if there's things I spot, I'll just find out if you're spotting them. Uh, so it's that, that casting your eyes up the road, if, if you like, putting them on main beam. Mm. Get them right down the road, and then looking back and right up So back. with that old lady down there? That's it. That's exactly the sort of thing. Yeah. So as you're coming there, you think, she might step out here. That yeah. might cause me a problem at that junction. I'll keep an eye on that. Mm. So you're mindful of that as you're coming in. And then of course as your view opens up, get your eyes down the road as far as you can. You might see somebody in the distance travelling really fast. And you couldn't go. Yeah? Yeah. So it's it's all that kind of thing. Does that seem like a it's it's if you like, it's the upper levels of hazard perception. What a bash of that then? Okay, okay. <laughs> you know on my driving test? Yes. Oh I failed my neighbor uh, neighbor. <laughs> Don't know about that. Uh, fell my theory. Oh no. By four this time. So what's the plan for getting ready for the next one? Do we need the same I plan? I did really good. I, I refingered it all. I'm like, yeah, got that one, got that one. I don't know what I failed on. It's mm. not fair. I didn't tell you what I failed on. It's um, 
if you you know the portal that I gave you access to on, on my website. Yeah. If you do the mock testing on that, it'll show you exactly which ones you've done and which and ones look, you haven't I've really done. I've at. done loads on on apps and that and like flashcards and stuff. It's been really good. Okay. And I just don't know. I don't know what I failed. At. Sometimes, um, what we're guilty of is not reading the question properly. Um, no, I did read them properly. Okay. I used the whole hour. <laughs> right. That's how much like. Okay. I don't miss uh, a bar. I'm there reading it ten times. Well, you're <laughs> so passing the hazard perception, which is normally the one that messes people up. Really? It was mm. so easy. <laughs> well, they've changed the way that the, the view of it is, and I think there's... It, it, now that it's CGI, it's a lot easier to see the hazards. Um, it's like cartoon. We need to have a little... A little... If you do a couple of the mock tests on, on, the, on my website, I can then have a look and analyse the reels. There, there might be a pattern. That we can maybe identify. Um, Cause too much money to just keep going, isn't it? Hmm. Um, I've changed it to Doncaster one now. Okay. My sister's taking. Allow something. yourself time, cause it's a hard one to find. Um, My sister knows where it is. Of course she, she does. Off, yeah. She it's, to tell me. <laughs> it's it's not easy to find at all. It's in a little doorway that's even, back. Yeah, even weird ones. It's just like where just is it? Door. Yeah. <laughs> and if you don't know where it is. And you only arrive for like five minutes to spare. You're like running up and down the street like a loon. Do you know what the test centre is? Oh. <laughs> I bet they get everyone there, don't they? Well, yeah. Asking them where it is. Right, you make yourself comfy. Mm -hmm. And we'll be off. Are we finishing at college today or back home? Uh, college. Yeah, indeed. Did I tell you the bloke came out and told me off for parking in the car park? Well, not, yeah, yeah, there. yeah, you did tell me. Come park in here. Oh, I'm not parking, I'm only dropping somebody off. You're not allowed. I swear does it say that and pointed to the sign, I was like, oh, <laughs> oh right, sorry. Oops. <laughs> On we go, I'm ready. <coughs> yeah, it didn't work. I crashed and burned, I'm afraid. So I just skulked off with my tail between my legs. Took it on the chin. <laughs> I think they turn round up here. Oh, you know. okay. A bit of local knowledge. Or not. Do not. They usually do. I'm not that crazy. <laughs> I believe you. And if we go right at the end of the rod. They're really tight gaps, aren't they? They are, they haven't left a lot of room. So you imagine the speed, which is tremendous. Right, yeah. Yes, please. So it's all about gathering information, really. Getting your eyes as far as you can, right at the end of the rod, but also to the rear. There's loads of information there for us. Right. Yeah. Yes, please. So again, as you see here, you can actually see the roundabout. Hmm. Someone's coming see, down now. That's it. So that information might be useful to you now, as you get into where these gaps are. Yeah. So are we going to get there before or after him? Well, he didn't come out. No, I didn't. He must have just carried on now. <laughs> but by spotting that really early. Yeah. And then if we go left of the roundabout, first exit. It's not like sit here, we're not just looking at the roundabout. Keep an eye on the roads all around. Get a quick look down this road. Do you have to signal? If you like... What do you reckon? There's nobody here, is there? No. I mean, I probably would. See, this is... So here, what have you got ahead of you? Well, I've got enough time to go down. Good. All the way down what there. about the red car? The red car? Back of me. Oh, and the bus. So by getting your eyes right up the road, you're adjusting now, aren't you? Yeah. And you haven't had to stop. No. You haven't had to brake. You've got your foot over it, but you haven't used it. Mm. Excellent. Shall we go right round the roundabout and back down this road? Yeah. So it's, does that make sense? I don't have to signal round it. Well, it's generally if you're going one road to another, I would. Because um, the examiner sat here thinking, well, you're not signalling because you know there's nobody about. Or you're not signalling because you don't know the signal. So I'd have to... I would, yeah. And you have to be careful with people just pulling yeah. out here as well. Again, use the shop windows. That gets you a little bit of an extra view with that way, doesn't it? Look at the sides of the cars. 
you sort of just get early clues. So do you have to signal going right, right? I would do, yeah. But now I turn And then off. signal and leave, just to let the people behind know what to do. So it's the end of the new road. Eyes on me and being, get them right up the road. So already I can feel you planning for that. Mm -hmm. So you just ease back, let them through, and now we're on. So it's that kind of stuff. Now I don't know if you're noticed that or how much smoother it makes you driving. Yeah. It's not jerky. Left at the roundabout. That wasn't very jerky, but no. this is super smooth. So we'll take the first exit back down that road. Down to Cumbria. Uh, not the, down the. On this road? Yeah. This Did he just signal right and turn left? No, I turn. No, no, I mean the guy over the road. Uh -oh. hmm. And again, take the view up the inside. Yeah. Eyes on main beam again. Look in the side of the car. Anybody coming? You can see the reflection. Gives you a clue. So it's about, I suppose. Like it's... under the van and Yeah. That. You might see some feet. Mm. Left at the end of this road. Left. Yes, please. No one's coming down there. That's in our front window, that car around. So in a second, you'll get a really, really long view of the road. We'll follow the road ahead. So take that early view, right the way up the top. Oh, but yeah. No one's coming down. So that's useful information, isn't it? Are they going straight on? What does his position tell you? Straight on. Yeah, there you go. But you need to be sure for yourself, though. Mm. So, again, always on this kind of thing, try and stretch your eyes as far as you can see. Get an early indication of what might or might not be happening. Mm. Well, I know that road there joins this roundabout. So, have a little quick look, you get an early view. Might give you a clue, you never know. And then left in the roundabout, please. I can't see. Oh, God. <laughs> it's good that we've had the sun like this, because you can see what effect it has on you. So left of the roundabout. Why is it parked there? It's not ideal, is it? No, because someone could just turn around. Right, where am I going? Go to the left. So, do I have to signal going? I would do, yeah. Oh, it's hard to look inside of It makes it very difficult when the sun's this low in the sky. So you've done the right thing by adjusting your speed. So you can still see and react to the distance you can see. Follow the road ahead at the roundabout. It's the second exit. I don't have to see That's it, just when you leave the roundabout. What this does to your driving is it makes everything unhurried. Because you're always reacting early to things, it's always super gentle. So, like with that man over there? That's it. Walking. And again, you can see you'll cross the roundabout, keep your eye for traffic, anything, anything that might help you. So, there's a driving school car, easy there using this road or the next one. So, we go all the way around and back down Checkerfield then. I don't have to, here I don't get with the signalling up now. Okay, well, we'll have a chat about that in a bit. So I think that the general rule is if you're going from one road to another, use a signal. And roundabouts count as sort of 
crossroads, really. So you're going to get the early view up the side of those cars. So take that little sneak preview of that road. No one's coming up, is it? So yeah, up there, down here, up there, down here. So your eyes are constantly scanning the full length. The fast car coming up. Any speed told you wasn't going to wait. Yeah, I know. So again, you haven't braked hard, you haven't done anything quickly. And as a result, the car just sits completely yeah. smooth. Excellent, well done. And that's so the He didn't signal, did he? He didn't, no. That would find a convenient place to pull over or have a, have a chat about signaling. Chat about how you're finding that, too. Uh, yeah, anywhere along here, it's fine. But not anywhere, somewhere safe. Right. Yeah, that's good. You kept the driveways clear, out of the way of everybody else. So, how does that feel when you're doing that? Does it feel any different? A lot smoother. Mm. Just from this side, it's just, everything's just almost perfect. Yeah. Well, that's good. Yeah, 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 that's good. Start noticing other drivers. You'll see some drivers appear completely unruffled and the car just glides. Others, you're like this all the time. Mm. And it's because they're not planning ahead. Uh, so the likes are here. If you're approaching that right about, you start looking at it. You get an idea. You might see somebody coming off there. You can see how much traffic's on it. Where most people would look sort of in between them pedestrians and that car. That's where your eyes would naturally sort of land. And you'd be probably comfortable with that because you know you can stop in that distance. But by shooting your eyes that further up the road, you sometimes pick bits and pieces up, like that last little bit there. You come down, you worked out that his speed told you, I'm not stopping for you. Yeah. So you just eased, eased back from, I don't know, probably what, 70, 80 yards back? He's through, you just squeeze the gas on, through you go. You didn't need to brake, you didn't need to change gear. Everything's just like, bang, and through we go. So how does it feel when you do it? Does it feel more relaxed? Does it feel any different? Cool, that's a good one. So like, with roundabouts, mm -hmm. if I'm taking the first exit, yeah. I signal left yeah. on that bit. Yeah. If I'm going, keep on going round, right, then left, yeah. signal. So it's, well, it's all, it's all part of the, the same thing that we're looking at here. It's, it's we're looking for information. Um, so when we look at information, we, we call it TUG, T-U-G. Take, use, give. So we're taking in information, we're using that information to plan, which you're doing beautifully. Mm. Um, then we've got to give information. Well, signals are part of that. The body language of the car is part of it, and signals are part of that. So we're letting people know what we're doing. For example, the guy at the crossroads, you know, when we were going ahead, um, there were several things that led you to believe he was going ahead. You can never know 100% for sure. Yeah. Um, but what were they? What told you that he was going ahead? He nudged himself forward. Mm -hmm. He didn't, he didn't p position himself left or right to turn him or out. Uh, what else? He didn't signal. Mm. Also, where was he looking? Straight ahead. Yeah. If he was turning right, he'd probably be giving it that. Not necessarily, but... So you've picked up on the clues, the car is straight, he's easing forward in a straight line, uh, and he's not signaling. So we've been able to take information from that, from the information that he gave us. Um, so we need to be thinking about, well, what information are we giving people? So if you're going left, we're signaling left, you're going right, we're signaling right. Going right at a roundabout is generally, Anywhere beyond, if it was a clock face, anywhere beyond 12 o'clock, you're going right, so I would signal right, and probably position right. There's some roundabouts that are marked different. Uh, you just got to watch for lane markers when you come in. So if we're going from one road to another, it's probably policy to signal, unless that signal's going to confuse somebody. So with me turning right, that ain't going to confuse anyone at a roundabout? No, nope, because they'll know you're coming past them, and they'll wait. Where if you're not signaling, they might assume you're coming off of that one. Hmm. Yeah. And if okay. you see somebody coming into a roundabout and they're not signalling, you should assume they're going ahead. Sometimes it means they just haven't signalled. <laughs> Does that make sense? Yeah. Do you want to try a bit more of that? Yeah. Onwards and upwards. And then we'll look at some testier circumstances for this forward plan. Nice okay. observations. So if we go all the way around and back up this road. Yep. So signal. That's the one. If I 
I didn't have one on, they'd fuck. They might have thought you were going that way, that's it. Somebody's been driving on the top of that road, but it's not on the tire marks. <laughs> Right to the furthest point you can see. And then once you've cleared that, then start looking back. Right up, back, up, back. You just get early early help or early information. It's hard to see. So you've done the right thing, you've adjusted your speed according to what you can see. So many cars. So again, take the early view up between the trees. You can see the water at the very top beyond the yellow car. No one's coming down. Then once we've cleared that danger, we can then start looking at the stuff that's down here. I thought we got left at the roundabout, first exit. Yeah, we can do. What we'll do is when we get to the roundabout, we'll go left. So we're about to start peeling the lanes in the middle of the road here, so we'll get out of the way. No, that's fine. It's not confusing. And then left at the end of the road. Oh, we are following the road. So you can see what the sun being this low does to your visibility. Mm. Or to your vision, rather. Like third, fourth, exit. Yeah, he'll give you the directions just like I have. Not like straight ahead. No, he said follow the road ahead. It's the third exit. Or he said take the road to the right. Would he say third exit? Yeah, he'll give you the exit number. Oh, that's good. If you're not sure, just ask. I don't mind you doing that. It's not that harsh. No, not at all. They're lovely here at Bonnie. Really are nice. School signs. Mm -hmm. No one's allowed to park on them, are they? Well, they're not supposed to. Yeah, but they're, they're <laughs> not other. They're not no, the six, six, no, the, no, the, no, the no school buses or anything, is it? No, it shouldn't be. I know I've got that one right. <clears throat> See, she doesn't know where she's going, does she? Oh. She could have stepped out with me. She could, you could. Right. We'll go left and then we'll go straight ahead of the ring. <laughs> Head along this road. Oh. Where am I? Straight ahead. Straight. <laughs> I thought I turned it to and first. Again, see bad. the car coming, just see the top of it. I, I can go though. You can. But, but you're like, aware of him. What's yeah, he going to do here? He's really fast, so he's he is. So even though we've got priority, he wasn't going to give us it. But you saw him from miles away. Yeah, he was so really fast. But I had time to get over yeah. that. Yep. So there. his bad driving hasn't caused you an issue because you were on it. Yeah. Now we'll take the road off to the right. And 
Now this is a tricky one. Because if you try and go round that roundabout, people will think it's, you're turning yeah, left. Yeah, it's really hard. So, go about halfway over it. So you've made the effort to go around. Mm. But you're not misleading people with your position. that car's just gone they should be changing soon. You'd think that yeah. wouldn't you? Well again you've got yourself set up for it and there you go. The fee sets off. <laughs> so you're planning there. I didn't have to stop and Didn't start. have to do anything except just cover the brake and let it trundle down. Good stuff. Right at the end of the road please. get a gap here at some point because the traffic lights just don't know when. I can't. You can only go when you've got the right size gap. I know why. Like, I could have gone with that side but not this side. That's it. I can go now. Yeah. Well done. So again turn at the road and get your eyes right up the road. Did I leave that on too much? No, no, not at all. Straight so, on, see, yeah? Yes, please. See the brake leg activity? What's that all about? What's happening there? Uh, don't know. So the guy in the high vis jacket, the star, ah, there you go. So the brake lights give you a very early warning that something was up there. They're coming out, aren't they? That's an interesting manoeuvre. Wow. <laughs> You've lost count of the amount of rules they've just brought in there. Are they even allowed in there? No, they're not allowed to reverse across a main road, that's for sure. So again, if you get your eyes as far as you can see, you see the van waiting, the tall one, mm. coming towards us. He might cause us an issue. Well... You, you see him creeping forward. Yeah, well, he's talking to me. <laughs> oh no, I'm at the guy further down. You see it behind there, the minibus? Oh. He's through now, so he pushed himself into that gap, so by seeing him dead early, again, if you just hold back a tiny bit from that traffic, it'll give you a much better view of the side of them. What's that? What's that? If you're up close behind them, you don't get the view. And as we turn the corner, scan as far as you possibly can. Activity, what's that about? Turning. Am I going straight on? Yes, please. You need to take a wide one. It's all about. If he were turning, it would have been a wide one, wouldn't it? Correct. He'd have had to hold back. Absolutely. <clears throat> well, he should have done. Just maybe will. <laughs> so, again, take the longest view you possibly can. And then scan back. Again, not much you do with that a very long way in a minute. Sometimes just tell by the way people approach it what they're going to do. You can certainly tell whether they're going to give way to you or not. Do a couple of little bits now where you'll see that looking a long way ahead will save you a lot of a lot of hassle. So there's a 
board joining here, sometimes you get an early view across. Here you don't because of the house and the trees, but sometimes you can get a view down that road, so I will take it. And is there anybody approaching quick? I will stick with this later and just follow the road through now. Not now. Okay, take the view of the garage. Anybody going to cause you any issues there? And then as you round the corner, right up the road. See the brake lights on the car there? Some vehicles coming to a stop ahead of us there. They might be cleared by the time we get there, but we're aware of it. Again, trying to peep around the corner as much as you can. Might have been one of these cars pulling up here. Or it might just have been that that car made somebody break. But seeing the lights early gives you just. So as we rise up here, again. Cast your eyes as far along the road as you can. What shift, mean? What, sorry? What shift, mean? Uh, that's the eco safe thing. It's um, change up a gear. But, oh. how does the car feel? Don't always rely on that. You need third gear was the right gear there to climb that hill. Because it was still, I started to put more gas on. So again, we'll go ahead, eyes as far down the road as you possibly can. Just keep scanning along and back. So the, the these lights have just come on, haven't they? Well, keep an eye on them. These come on. Left hand then. Left? Yes, we're going ahead. Oh, so it's okay, it's up there. So again, look as far down the road as you can. Tell me what you see. Man crossing. <laughs> Beyond that, what is there? The lights changing. There's a crossing. Do you reckon you can time your approach so those lights are on green by the time you got there? No one would be able to. Okay. They'll stay red for ages, won't they? Maybe. Now, as long as it's this situation where you're not slowing anybody down. We're going straight on? Yes, please. Okay, but while you're approaching, take a rise down the next road. See some brake light activity down there. See the brake lights come on. We've done that for oh, a Oh, I nearly did. Alright, you're still rolling. We haven't actually stopped. Am I? Are you alright? Trust was yourself. It, it was, yeah. Oh. <laughs> so I would be now looking at it. Okay, why did he brake? Maybe he was turning off somewhere. That's New Lidl, isn't it? It is. Looks like it's just about ready to open. Now we'll follow the road around to the right. Again, anything down here that might cause you an issue? Um, a horse. Possibly. But they're going that way, so it's not me really. As I'm looking at I'm always thinking, has he got hold of that horse or is it just following him? <laughs> it's clever enough, really. You never know. Cause you a bit of damage, horses and all. So again, eyes right along the road. Anybody at the pedestrian crossing? There you go. It's a lot of cars. Yes. Oh god. Something must have happened. What's happened? Mm. Time is it? I if it's linked to that brake light activity we saw earlier, perhaps. Who knows? Far up the road as you can. Tell me what you see. I see there's another. No one's there. Tell me what else you see. crossing, isn't it? It is. Uh, pram. Yeah. It's yeah. a tight, it's a tight it path, so. so. You may want to think about going a little bit out to clear them, but also give you a better view. As long as you're not crossing the line, of course. Yeah. So that situation there, it felt like, well, look, did you feel you were ready for anything there? Mm. And that you could have reacted comfortably yeah. in the time you had? Yeah. Job done then. Tick. So we can start doing these, these visual scans 
and searching up the road and looking for, well, what if? What if this happened? What if that happened? What might happen here? So we get a chance to try that because we're coming up with quite a long stretch of road. But there are some potential hazards. So we'll see if you can uh, see if you can spot what they might be. The, what, the man? Well, yeah, we could do. Where's he going? He's not walking with much purpose, is he? So he's no. just wandering about. So I didn't even look at that road. Well, if you look behind, he's actually stepped on the road. Mm. He hasn't got on the path, he's stepped on the road. So where's the potential hazard here? Um, cars? Yep. Mm -hmm. So now you've got a really long stretch of road ahead. Think of potential hazards here? Cars to Yep, anything else? You see the three cars ahead of us? Yeah. Are any of them going to overtake the other one? Don't know. I think the one in the middle's thinking about it, the white one, look how close he is to the other car. What car? He might pull out no our path. As it happens, he hasn't. But you got an idea there when they turned the corner that they were close together. What else might you s s expect along this road? Corner. Yep. I can see over there that there's cars coming down. The junction as well. Is there anybody going to pull out? Slippery road. Sharp deviation. What does the next sign tell you? You see it already? Just Shut off the down. road. Yeah. So early view. You're ready for it. So there's potential hazards everywhere. So I see some buildings on the left here. See the flashing yellow lights? Flashing yellow. Those ones. Oh! So yeah. you can see them from a little bit further back. You say, oh, what's that about? What are they doing? Like, as it happens, it's binned in. We know which direction he's coming because they're putting the bins out for him. Oh, bin men are horrible, aren't they? <laughs> That's it's a terrible awful. thing to say. <laughs> no, not like them. <laughs> you know what I mean? They're awful, those people. So again, checking ahead, what do you see? Tell me where the potential hazards are. Uh, so the triangle sign is always a warning. Uh, yeah. So you see the triangle, because you can see the triangle, you can see it's a triangle before you can see what it's for. So you think, oh, warning sign, what's that about? Uh, that one and... Yep. Yeah. What's that for? Slippery road. Yeah, yeah, I thought that. That's, um, what's that now? The junction. Yep, so look for it. There's the fingerboard that points into it, so you know that's where it is. Look along the road. Can you see anybody moving? No, nope. so happy with that. We're clear of it. This time, bend with a little junction on the left. Have a look through the hedge. Is there anybody on that road? No. So this constant scanning, you just become super aware of what's around it. See the telegraph poles. That sometimes tells you where the road goes. Here, as it happens, it doesn't. We're turning left. You'll get an early view along the road from here. See the car coming? Yeah. Again, looking in at the corner, next triangle sign, there's a road off to the left. It's quite sharp. So again, you've seen him come out. You might, in the wind there, you'll definitely get a view through there when all the leaves come off the bushes. Keep an eye on that. I'd be saying to myself, yeah, I'm happy with that now. So constantly looking for little clues. Just constantly casting your eyes up the road and back, up the road and back. Does that, does that all make sense? Please tell me if I'm talking nonsense. No, you are. No, I know what you're on about. <laughs> it's what I try and do, like, look as far as... Well, it's, it's practice, that's all. Yeah. It's really pushing our eyes as far as we possibly can. Again, as we turn this corner, you'll get a long view of the road. So tell me what you see. There's another wall inside. Excellent. What's it warning me of, I'm asking myself at this point? Is it going to affect me? Is that another junction? It is. So we'll get How to did same. you see that? Because I'm looking for it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it seems a silly thing to say, but you'll only see what you're looking for. So there's the junction. Do I get a view? Yes, I do. Is there anybody on that road? Don't think so. 
Um, Water clues. Triangles are warnings. Yep. Rectangles are giving out information. Aren't Correct. They? And circles are. Orders. Yeah, orders. So again, two this time and a description board underneath. Some houses in the distance, so I'm probably going to expect a speed limit change. Mm. Tractors. Or a girl from my land. So in a car you safe here, yeah? if I'm riding a motorbike here, yeah? I do not What's want to get in the middle of this lane. Which one? It's a general hazard. Watch out! <laughs> so you get loads of information as you're coming in here. Okay. Yeah, junction right, have a look down, is anybody coming? Nope. No. So we're pretty sure we're safe here now. Get a view through the hedgerows. See the back of a car there? Is he parked? Is he reversing out? What's he doing? Is it a speed camera? Okay, if it is myself. I'm 30. I know. And I'll stay 30. <laughs> and then what we'll do is we'll go around the roundabout, back down this road. Where are we? Uh, this is Egbury. Huh? Are we in West Yorkshire still? Uh, no. I've, um, yes, we are, I think, just. I'll have to look that up. Maybe East Yorkshire, actually. We'll go all the way around down this road. Could be. Not north. Oh, north. Well, it's on the border of both, isn't it? So, all the way around. I'll have to double check that. Actually, I think I think we're still in West Yorkshire. And again, that high visual scan down the road. Where's the potential problems? I'm being bullied at work. <laughs> See, they could have pulled that up, but that family could. Yep. So what are these men doing? <laughs> I don't want to take it. So it's picking up that kind of information. Is the bus, is he going to turn? What's he going to do? Will he go before me? Looks like he's Waiting. probably going to wait. But we're trying to get that information all the time so that, well, what if he does do something outrageous? What will I do? Again, agricultural buildings. There you can see you might expect tractors, and there's one there. Oh, they're quite wide. It's not too bad. Some of the new ones have got like massive tyres. You need to slow right down until you. So there's a junction there, so have a look down the little road that leads to it. Any tractors coming in, coming out? Doesn't look like it. Well, happy with that. On we go. Eyes up the road, see what's around. Let's have a look, tell me what you see, what you're thinking about. Yeah, yeah. 
taken that particular view, you wouldn't see them until you got here.
can also... I can see his lights. There you go. Stopping. We're coming up a hill, and there's a big vehicle in front of us. The hill's probably going to slow him down more than it'll slow us down. Should I change down again? Do what you feel's right. Because it's... Go with, your, go with your gut feeling. How's that feel? A lot better. There you go. Alright, I'm changing to that now. <coughs> Because you've seen all of that that early, this is all unflustered, smooth, under control. And sat at this seat, it looks like you're totally in control of everything you're doing. Mm. And we'll follow the road ahead. Ahead? Yes, please. So, what mark? Follow that wagon. Yeah, this. Yeah. Oh, 
all they get a bit iffy about it. So if we go in the car park on the right, it's in the, the bottom gate in. Well, this this one. What? I was thinking, you want to try and take you out of where the sun would be in your eyes. Oh, yeah. Back in those ones behind us, we should be alright. So, you can go around that way, can't you? So, the skills that are at play here, if you just. We'll just make the car safe for a second and go handbrake and you're on. I thought I'm turning on now. That's okay. Right. Just to explain to you how you're able to do this, it's. You know, you see, you feel like you're guessing. It's not really guesswork. So if I put my hand right there, if you just put your finger on my hand. Now then, what I want you to do is to close your eyes, take your finger away, and with your eyes still closed, put your finger back where it was. You know exactly where it is. Because yeah. your brain can work it out. You look at that bear, you come back, and you know when it disappears from view, you still know where it is. You just kind of see it. Guess so. So it's not... It is sort of guesswork, but it's educated guesswork. That's why you're able to do that. I could have done the same putting it behind your head and you'd have just put your finger back where it was. Because you can judge that sort of stuff, which is why you can do that. Okay. You can do that without poking your eye out. <laughs> oh, I've missed. <laughs> On you go. So it isn't really guesswork. It's your brain just working out what you need to do. Because we're really slick and really clever. You mess it up now, won't you? <laughs> of course you won't. I have absolute and utter faith in you. Am I going down there then? You just choose a bit and on you go. The sun's gone that way now. Great. Should I just pick one of these? Well, I would. You can you can do it either side. It doesn't really matter. The one on your side. test, you'll get to be on your left. Right. Because uh, that's just where the bears here. You drive in and the bears are on your left. On your left. So should I, all right, I'll practice. So you'd be parking that side, or would you be on this side? Uh, well, you'd and be then... coming in, the, you know where the, the test centre, they've got their own car park with four bears in. Five bears. So you drive into the car park and you just reverse into one of the bears. Which one you use? Is it a lot of room or is it really tight? Well, no, there's plenty of room. Hmm. We'll practice it at the test centre, but we don't want to do it too many times there because we might be getting in the way of people on test. Hmm. Class is cheating. Yeah, maybe a little bit. I'll just start from here then. Okay. On you go. Right. Yeah, they all do the come out and complain. Get out of our car park. There's people walking. Not really paying attention, are they? Should I a signal? Uh, I wouldn't hear. I've got my brake lights on. Yeah, and your reverse lights are on as well. So they can see what you're doing, they're just paying no attention. In the middle of them two cars, but that bay, not in the two. <laughs> Oggy doggy. Yeah. Right, okay. Which one? Go with what you think. Then once you've put that amount of steering on, what? Periodically, just stop and just think, is it working, is it not? If it is, carry on. If it isn't, do something different. Is it in line with that one? Pretty much. <sighs> just trust yourself. you need to do to make it perfect? I don't know. I'm like that. Okay. I, I don't know. Well, we're not I'm done yet, are we? We're not far away, are we? Can I go forward and level do whatever you want. Is that what you're allowed on your set? Ah, but just do it. Don't ask him. Just so. All right. <laughs> Because this bit here doesn't count. It's how you end up that matters. 
So taking a shunt forward, no problem at all with that. I feel like I'm moving my wheel too much, I should have just done little stairs. Okay. Shut you know I mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know if I've done it. I'm too lopsided. Well, the rules are you should be in the beer. Yeah. And reasonably accurate. So how do you think you are with that? I've got loads of room here, so I don't okay. know if there's well, nothing. A little tight on this side, but we're in the beer. Are we in it? We are. If it ends up like this on your tent, leave it alone. <laughs> we had the horrific situation uh, where Nikki came back from test. I didn't go with her on that one. She came back from test. She ended up just like this. And it was. I was looking and thinking, oh, that's a bit messy. She went forward and came back and ended up in the middle of the two bears. And he couldn't, he couldn't pass her on that because it wasn't accurate. And he said to her afterwards, why didn't you just stay there? She went, it wasn't perfect. He said, we're not looking for perfect. In the beer, between the lines, Reasonably straight, reasonably accurate. Mm. This'll do. But you know you can do better. Yeah, I know. Go on then sort it out. This one. Think? Yep. Or start another one, it's I'll entirely up to you. Them. Right you hope. Right, okay. Um, this would do. This would be fine. We're not gonna start getting out and getting rulers and measuring how far in and stuff out you are. Rule. <laughs> okay. So you've already worked out what you need to do, just put that plan in action. So can I, is it going to be harder doing it on this side of the road? No, just different. It'd be a lot tighter, wouldn't it? Um, I suppose you just, you've just got to look in different places and, and manoeuvre the car into the space. It's In a lot of ways, if you were reversing over into one of those over there, it's easier because you can, yeah. you can see the bear all the time. On you go when you're ready. <laughs> they've just gone into the bay you were going to use. You haven't they? Oh no, they've gone through. <laughs> I've had that happen before. It's too. They could have gone forward a little bit more. They could. Use a different bay if you want. I know, that's what That's I mean. a bit of a mess, isn't it? What they've done there. Where should I go? Yeah, try one of these ones. There's plenty of space there, isn't there? These ones. Okay. Which one? I'll do that one. Okay. And I can be on this side. You can. Or would it be better on that side? Well, it doesn't really matter. It gives you a bit more room to come in, but it's how you end up that matters, not where you start. Like in the test centre, is it like this side? You'd have a bit more room. Just a little bit more room. You'd probably be in the middle. In the middle. Of course you will. Right, in your test you have to pop always all round. Well, it's not just for your test though, is it? No, it's not. <laughs> I know. You've already seen what pedestrians do, they just wander about because they're busy thinking about what they're going to buy. Mm. They're not considering that they might get run over if they don't watch what they're doing. I nearly got run over by a taxi man the other day. Dear. It was going really fast. The tenor? Oh, no. And it didn't say go. Oh, I'm not <coughs> Yeah. Now you see why we look all around. Yep. <laughs> why would you do that to me? In the middle of it. No, I'll go a bit back and then I'll... Oh, okay, that's fine. Sort this out. Can you do that? Of course you can. But then there won't be enough room, would there? No, there'll be room. Yeah, you'll be fine. You're not taking up as much room as you think yet. Oh, I don't know where it is. But because you're travelling so slow, you can get on top of it, but it's not right straight away.
homeless ways. What? Why would you do this? Look at that. Because everybody's in the five hundred or whatever. <laughs> Don't be unkind. Even the moment just, is open. It's probably, probably just a good driver on a bad day. It looks fingered. I'm but, straight here. Yeah. Well, not that side. Go on then, do what you think you need to do. Not failed. Go further back. Okay. I'm not level. I'm not in, I don't think. Well, I'm in at that side. Am I in at that side? Yeah. Am I? So is it quite, it's quite big, isn't it? This would be fine. Now, you're a little closer to this lane than you are to that lane, but that doesn't matter. Don't it? No. If you weren't happy with it, you could just take a little shove forward and just come back in. But this would be fine. Yeah, I would leave it be at this. Are you allowed to ask him to open the door and see if you're in? No. You can open yours though. I can open mine. No, he'll not let you do that. No, he won't let me open my door. Oh, he'll let you open yours, he won't he won't open yours. Can you have your window down on your test? Why not? <laughs> of course you can. It'll be cold hopefully if I pass. <laughs> <laughs> this is fine. You've come in, you're under control, your observation was good and you're accurate. Right. I'll do it when you're ready. Happy with that? Yeah. I'm all better with it now. I think. Cool. And we're going out. We'll go out that this way. gear this time. And then left at the end of the road. <laughs> there you go, we've set a good example by doing it right and not cutting across the base. Mm-hmm. Any car could be coming out, so I don't know why you'd cut through anywhere. Yeah. Well, it's the problem is that people don't consider what might happen. Well done. I forgot about my clutch then. <laughs> Nearly, you, you <laughs> caught it, so it's alright. It Oh no, it's and early. Left at the end of the road, I know, it's terrible, isn't it? Okay, cross the road, cross. See, I had to slow down then. You did. But, again, because you saw it in time, you were able to adjust, and it didn't cause you an issue. That's what defensive driving's all about. Fuck the road ahead, yeah. Again, eyes up as far as you can. Don't See what's there, what it might do to yeah. you. Oh, so what it might do, but what the effect it might have. So close, you'd have to go out and change the amber. But that's generally dependent on what's behind you. See, that man's about to cross the boat. There he is. I'm already past well, That's good. good. You see the indicator on the car ahead? That might cause you an issue, it might not.
we'll go right at the roundabout. You're gonna have to get used to this round, aren't you? You've been coming this way to college. Yeah. <laughs> it's an alright round. It's right. getting better now they've moved all over the cones and people are starting to understand what the rules are. Mm. Does that say dad? It does. But that cost a bomb, didn't it? Mm. Echo. But it doesn't matter really, does it? That's okay. No, but yeah, you've controlled it. But we're not... No, but I'm at the head of the queue you need first, <laughs> because you're probably going to need to get out fairly quickly. So again, I'm looking where we're going. What's that white van up to? It's probably cold, man. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got the time to sort of check it out. There's nobody in it, so it should be okay. You shouldn't pull away from us. It's maybe one of the workmen at the right over. It's a strange place to park it. Thank you. Yeah, the sirens. Could just roll so. back at you. Oh, where's that? Let's so we'll see where they are. Down there. So we'll just wait and see where he's going to go. We're not affecting him. Yeah. Most important thing. So he clearly Stop. doesn't know the rules. He clearly doesn't, no. The most important thing when you hear sirens is to not panic and try and leave room for them. So there we didn't go forward until we see what's happening. Let's work out where he's going, leave some space so that he could get round us if he needed to, kind of thing. But people tend to panic when they hear the sirens. And if you can't give them some space, just keep driving normally. Yeah. So you're not really going to get done through it, are you? No, no, no. What you're having to do is, say a situation like this, if you hear sirens, leave a big gap between you and them, and then he's got a way to get round you. Mm. Where people tend to think, oh, I'll, I'll jump this red light. We're not allowed to do that. It's always leaving space yeah, for He's people. just pushed in there. They're all pushing in. Should we pull them over and have a word with them? Should we? <laughs> Oi, get over here. <laughs> Again, all you can do is just take account of it and not let their nonsense affect us. I, I, I shouldn't have really... That's okay. No one would be behind me, That's a borderline one, isn't it? If you'd been a couple of foot closer, you'd have had to go through Yeah, it. yeah, if they were close to me behind me. that was quite a jerk, that one, not it? Like if I went through it at my speed that I was going, I wouldn't have got done, would I? No, no. It would have just been on amber. If it had been on red, you would have got done. But... Mm, yeah, but... No, that's fine. But you knew it might change, so you were sort of ready for it. I don't know when things changed. Last time they changed really quick, didn't they? I really wouldn't care if I ran him over. Friend of yours? No. Don't know him. It's all weird hours in this college. <laughs> I'm only joking. <laughs> I'll, I'll let that be yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The smart move though, wasn't it? If a motorbike had overtaken you at that point, he was in trouble. Should we make a parking there? Yeah, you can do. Either yeah. on the bottom road or up the top road, whichever's easier for you. Now you can I'm... go all the way round. Oh, okay. So now that I've been told off for using the car park. This road, anyway. It's tight, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, I understand them getting upset if people use their parking bays and, and take up spaces. That's ah, okay, that's fine. Well, that's a smart one, so you're leaving enough room for the vehicles to get through. Mm -hmm. Okay, how'd that feel? Good. It's by getting your eyes that far up the road, you hardly ever use the brake. Mm. It's fuel efficient because you're not slowing down to a stop, you're just notching back and forth. I'm using third a lot more than. Uh, yeah. But it's we're not we're not looking at situations and then breaking to a stop, um, and you're balancing the car and the gear. You're getting a feel for that because you know when it needs to change. Now eh? it's all coming together. You think about the number of hours you've done. You know that the national average in the UK is 47 hours to mm. test. It's, uh, so how can you like you say you need to do some home as well, don't you? Yeah. Well, this not everybody gets the chance to practice um, because you need to get a car. And like I'll insurance. go on your parents' insurance, which is like yeah. stupid expensive. It is really expensive. 
So it's, uh, it's, it's a difficulty, but we're doing fine. Yeah. Do your reflection, have a think about what you want to do next then. Um, so it's just nice to do that sort of thing because it just polishes everything. Mm. Uh, and it gives you, it gives you more control over your environment. Um, and the ability to react when people do do things they shouldn't do, because they do that all the time. Mm -hmm. um, it also stops us from being maybe so annoyed with them, because it's dead easy to get annoyed with people who make mistakes, where on the other side, well, I never make Just a good driver on a bad day. Mm -hmm. You didn't affect me, so I'm not bothered. Excellent. Oh, better let you get in. Okay. So what's the agenda for today's lessons? Um, it's just my government, that's it. Mm -hmm. It's really boring. I don't like it. <laughs> oh, no, no. Um, next week's induction. Um, well, Wednesday works okay, actually. If this time works okay for you. Same time next week, then? Yeah. Excellent.